Hey guys, installing Linux on a family member's computer or a friend's computer? Let's discuss this a little bit because there is a right way and a wrong way to go about this. And too many times on the internet, on various Linux forums and Linux subreddits, I'm seeing way too many people do this the wrong way. Sometimes I see people say that they're going to install Linux on a family member or friend's computer, maybe the girlfriend or wife's computer, and they've been using Windows, and they've never really discussed moving them to Linux, but they're just going to do it. You know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and wipe out their machine and set up whatever Linux distro. No, don't do that. Do not change the operating system on someone's computer without their expressed written or verbal permission. Just don't do it. 100% uh, that is going to cause just a massive blow up from the person that owns that computer. Imagine you come home and you sit down to your computer. You expect a certain operating system and desktop environment, all your applications and whatever workflow you've become accustomed to. Now something's different on it. And you didn't ask for that. Uh, I'm, I'm shocked that people actually do this, but I've actually seen people say, you know, they had, you know, wiped out Windows 10 on the Wise laptop and put, you know, Linux Mint on it. Uh, and it never goes well. So, one, don't install Linux on somebody's computer unless they actually told you to do that. And two, say somebody does give you permission to install Linux on their computer. Family member got a laptop and it's running slow. You know, it's been running Windows 7 for years. Maybe the thing is just riddled with viruses and it's just gotten to the point where it is almost unusable. And they're frustrated with it. They want somebody to save their computer. And you tell them that, Linux will fix all their problems and they say okay go ahead and install it so what do you put on it well for some reason when I look around the internet on various Linux forums and various Linux subreddits I see a much larger percentage of people than you would think doing dumb things like installing rolling release distros on family member computers friends computers and nine times nine times out of ten what they're installing for some reason, I don't know why, is Arch Linux. Uh, just the other day, I came across a post uh, on Linux Master Race, that particular subreddit, this guy that installed Arch Linux on a friend's laptop. Uh, this friend, of course, has never used Linux before. Why would you install a, a rolling release distro on somebody's computer that's never used Linux before? B, why would you install Arch Linux on a new Linux user's computer? If somebody cannot get through the install process themselves for something like Arch or Gentoo or whatever, they do not need to be running that particular distro. They don't. The other thing is rolling release distros. You have to keep the system up to date. New Linux users are not going to keep that machine updated. They could go weeks, maybe months without updating their system. You go weeks without updating your system on a rolling release distro, you're probably going to break something. Certainly if you go months, you're going to have major breakages when you try to update the machine. So unless A, this friend that you installed Arch Linux on their laptop, unless they're not really your friend and you're just trying to get rid of them, that's a possibility. Or B, you are prepared to support that machine 24-7, 365. And for 99% of us, when we install Linux on a family member or a friend's computer, we're not prepared for that, right? Uh, you better be prepared for it if you install the rolling release on their, their machines. So just don't do it. Just stop installing strange things on family member and friend's computers when they have never used Linux in the past. Basically, my advice, what I've done for years, I keep a USB stick of Ubuntu with me. I keep it in the laptop bag. I always have it. If a family member or a friend asks me to install Linux or, you know, inquires about, hey, what, what can I do to fix my Windows problems? And I tell them about Linux. I install Ubuntu. The, the install process for Ubuntu, 15 minutes. 
out of the box for most computer users. They're fine with the stock Ubuntu. The, the applications that come with it, they can do basically what most computer users do with their computer. They can browse the web, look at Facebook, look at YouTube. That's all they need. And uh, don't let your egos or personal biases, hey, I can install this really hard thing called Arch on your computer. Let me show you how it's done. Uh, why are you doing that? Uh, install Ubuntu on these people's machines. The other thing with installing Ubuntu on a brand new user's computer is some of the ones that actually try to support the machines themselves, you know, they, you know, grow and become, you know, real Linux users may eventually start wanting to fix some of the problems that crop up, even in something like Ubuntu, which is pretty stable. Put them on the LTS, by the way, guys. Yeah. All right. So they're Googling answers for how to do this in Ubuntu or how to do that in Ubuntu or just not even Ubuntu, how to do something in Linux. Most of the time it's going to be about how to do it in Ubuntu, right? It's not going to be how do you do this in Arch or Manjaro or Anturgos or OpenSUSE Tumbleweed or whatever rolling release, rolling release distro you put on their machine. No, most of the time, nine times out of ten anyway, you Google something about how to do something in Linux or how to install something in Linux, it's Ubuntu or Ubuntu related. So, so put that on their machines. Uh, just because you are an Arch Linux fanboy, do not go around just blindly putting Arch Linux on every machine you can. Uh, you're doing more harm to the Linux community than good because you install Arch on a brand new user's machine and things start breaking. Things start not going the way they expect. You know what's going to happen? The first thing that's going to happen is they may not be your friend for very long. And the second thing that's going to happen is they may actually go back to Windows. And the last thing we want is to drive people back to Windows. We want people, we want to drive people to freedom, right? We don't want to push them back to, uh, to the evil empire. So uh, be a little more mindful of what you're doing with new Linux users machines. Peace, guys.